Okay, this video is going to be some practice questions, and if you look down in the description, I have put the practice questions there, and I would encourage you to pause this video and try them for yourself first before coming back to check your answer. So the first question, the patient is a healthy 110 pound person, so we know their weight, and we want to know how many carps, so we want to find this in terms of carpules, they can be given of articaine 4%. And that's a 4%, not a 40. Um, so, our factor for calculating the maximum dose for articaine is 3.2 milligrams per pound. And she is 110 pounds. So straight multiplication, 3.2 milligrams per pound times 110 pounds means she can have 352 milligrams. Now the other thing we need to look at is the absolute upper dose of articaine, which happens to be 500 milligrams. And that's something you'll just have to memorize. And so when we actually answer our question, which is the maximum dose, we need to pick the lower of either our calculated number or the absolute upper limit. And in this case, it is our calculated number, um, which is 352 milligrams. So the next thing we need to do is we need to figure out how many carps that is. So since articaine is a 4% solution, there are 40 milligrams per milliliter of drug uh, times 1.8 milliliters in a carp and we get 72 milligrams in a carp. So now to figure out how many carps we take the total number of milligrams that we can give them and divide it by how much is in a single carp and what we're going to end up with is 4.89 and you probably just want to round that down a little bit so we could say 4.8 the second practice question is how many carps of Lido 1 to 100,000 can a 170 pound cardiac patient receive? So we need to know that a cardiac patient can have an upper limit of 0.04 milligrams of epinephrine. We're dealing with Lido at a, at a um, concentration of 1 to 100,000. And if you haven't watched the previous videos, go back and look at those um, because I am kind of skipping over some stuff here uh, that we've talked about in the preceding videos. Um, so we know that a 1 to 100,000 uh, concentration of epinephrine has 0 0.018 milligrams of epi. So to calculate how much a heart patient can have, we divide the total number that they are allowed to have by the total milligrams in a single carp. And that will give us our answer in terms of carpules. And what we get is 2.2 carps and in practice really it's going to be 2. Um, if you're calculating this for a test you probably want to put 2.2 but clinically you'd probably just keep it at 2. Now uh, the 170 pounds um, that really is a bit of a distractor in this question um, the weight isn't going to make a, a difference um, we know that someone who is 170 pounds can have several carps of lidocaine by the drug. Okay, the final practice question is a little bit longer. The patient has had two carps of 2% lido, and we're going to say that it's plain just uh, to emphasize that we are not factoring in the epinephrine in this calculation. So we've given them two carps. Now we want to add some mepivacaine 3%. So how many carps can we add? 
our patient is 140 pounds. So first thing we need to do is calculate um, the maximum dose. You don't actually have to do this first, but it's one of the first two things you have to do. So uh, lidocaine is 2 milligrams per milliliter times the patient's weight is 280 milligrams. Um, we know that the absolute upper dose of Lido is 300. Our calculated dose is lower, so we will use that. And so we also know that there are 36 milligrams of Lido in a carpule, and she's had two, which means she's had 72 milligrams of drug already. So the next thing we need to calculate is what is the upper dose of mepivacaine. And that factor, coincidentally, is also 2.0 milligrams per milliliter. And we times that by their weight, and we also get 280 milligrams. And coincidentally, the upper limit for mepivacaine is also 300, and so we take the lesser number our maximum dose of mepivacaine is 280 milligrams. So now we're going to take our maximum total dose that we can give them minus what we already have given them and we end up with 208 milligrams. So the next thing we need to do is make this clinically useful and put it in terms of carpules. So a 3% solution has 30 milligrams for every milliliter of solution. There's 1.8 milliliters in a carpule, therefore we've got 54 milligrams of mepivacaine drug in a single carpule. So to figure out how many carpules we can give, we're going to take the total amount that we have left, which is 208, divide it by how much is in a single carp, and we end up with 3.85. And again, for testing purposes, you may want to put the decimals in, but in clinical situations, you're just going to round it down to something a little bit more useful. And so for this one, I would probably say something like 3 and 3 quarters carps um, would be our maximum dose. So that is how you figure out how much extra you can give when you've got two different anesthetics.